Hi, my name is Jariah and today we're going to be discussing My Voice Matters for Place to Be Children's Mental Health Week. And today I'm joined by the incredible Gwendolyn Christie. Hi Jariah. Hi, how are you feeling? I'm really excited to speak to you today. I'm Thank really you so much for having well. me. Ah. So let's go straight into the questions. Yeah. So the first question is about expression. Mm -hmm. So are there different ways to have your voice heard? Yeah, I think there's definitely multiple ways to have your voice heard. Um, the way in which I choose is through my art forms. So it's as an actor. When I went to drama school, one of the things we were taught was always be in service of an idea larger than yourself. And I've taken that with me. Yeah. It's not something you can always plan for, but in everything I do, whether it's a film role or a television role or theater or working with an artist, there'll be something burning inside of me that I want to communicate. And so that's how I choose to use my voice. What about you? How have you found using your voice? Um, through presenting like I do now, I mean, because I present on a show called FYI that I do weekly and we just talk about so many different um, topics like, like the wars that's happening right now and climate change. So I feel like I get to make my voice heard through those topics and really like really talk about them and talk to like people, like experts, activists and things like that. So I feel like I can really make my voice um, be heard um, mm -hmm. through those sorts of things like presenting like he do I think so yeah next question is about listening so how important is it to listen I think listening is so extraordinarily important um, when I was younger I like to do a lot of talking yeah these days I like to do a lot of listening <laughs> 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 but I found that I just am learning so much and particularly times when maybe I don't want to listen by just sitting down and being present with someone and taking on board what they have to say, maybe watching something on the television that I wouldn't normally watch. Yeah. I learn something every time. I just find by listening to different voices, it enables me to really grow yeah. as a person. And I think the more you listen, it doesn't matter what age you are, you keep growing, yeah. you keep developing. and the things in the world that are unexpected, yeah. they become more beautiful. So the next question is about voice. So when did you first feel your voice was heard? When I first came to London, I found a group of people who were artists and performers and performance artists, and they were not really a part of mainstream society. They were creating their own work and we all felt other in some way, yeah. or kind of were made to feel other in some way. And we were all together and, and socialized together and had a hilarious time together and sometimes made work together. And that's when I felt like I had a voice yeah. and other people could really hear it. Um, and then when I was fortunate enough to um, I got a part in a TV show called Game of Thrones and it was playing a woman who was very much outside of the conventions of society for women. Yeah. She was very tall, she was very strong, she was described as ugly, she was a knight, she could fight. It was sort of everything that traditionally women had told, been told they weren't to be. And it really spoke to me. Yeah. It really connected with me and with my experiences. And suddenly, through that part, I felt like my voice in the world was being heard. Yeah. And what was beautiful about it was that no one expected it to be a success. Yeah. But that difference somehow resonated through the world and into the audience. And people, it didn't matter who they were or where they came from, they found a commonality with that character yeah. and they loved her. And that's really, when I really felt, in a magical way, that my voice was heard. Wow, that's a brilliant story. So, this is the last question, and it's about issue. So, if you could make your voice heard on one subject, what would it be? That is a tough question. Yeah, last tough question. <laughs> last tough yeah, question. coming in with the tough question last. I think, for me, it's empathy. Empathy. 
empathy creates a kind of loving kindness yeah. where you're able to travel out of yourself and into someone else's shoes and walk around in them yeah. and start to see the world through their eyes. And very often we realize that the very common, complex experience of being human is what we all have and what unites us all. And it's something simple, but if we can employ that empathy and if we can enjoy that flow together as human beings, we'll probably be kinder to each other and the planet. Thank you so much, Gwendolyn, for this interview. It's been absolutely amazing. I've enjoyed it so much. You are amazing. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. It's the interview Thank I've enjoyed you. most ever. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>